first, start by removing all the metal latches and locks from your coop. This can be done using a screwdriver or a drill as we've used here. Fill the screw holes with the screws you've just removed. The next step is fitting this little aluminium bar. Using the other screws you've just removed, fit this to your coop's door. The next part of the process is to reverse the hinge. This will make the door to be sprung closed rather than sprung open. Once again, use the screws you've just removed to fix the door back in place. Make sure you don't over tighten these screws or else you'll strip the plastic. The door is now sprung closed. We also have the little aluminium bar fixed to the door. We now need to measure 11.5 centimetres from the bottom of the coop as shown and make pencil marks there. Do this on the right hand pillar and next to the door as shown. Extend the pencil marks around each pillar like this. This makes it easier to see the pencil marks later. Using a long flat edge, extend these pencil marks and extend them even onto the door. Make sure you can see these pencil marks on the metal hinge. This will be the centre line of your opener and closer, and it's really important to get this bit right. You can now get the mechanism itself and take the split pin out. Align the little notch at the far end of the base plate to the pencil mark you made on the right pillar. Making sure the right hand and now the left hand notch is aligned up with the pencil marks, Make pen or pencil marks in each of the screw holes. Using a sharp implement such as a bradle, make little points at each of the pencil or pen marks you've just made. Using a 5mm drill bit, drill out the left hand two marks. Make sure you only drill out the left two holes and make sure you keep the drill perpendicular to the front of the coop. Go all the way through the double layer plastic. For the next part, you'll need the two countersunk screws, two large penny washers, and two wing nuts. Push these countersunk screws all the way through the coop front. Then, use the small countersunk screws to secure the right hand side of the base plate. It's a good idea to use a hand tool for this so that you don't over tighten the screws. Leaning into the coop, put a penny washer on each of the bolts sticking out the other side. Then, secure each in place using the wing nuts. You just need to hand tighten these. On the front of the coop, there are two little dimples on the right hand side of the door. Draw a line between them. We used a straight edge as before, making the pencil marks as shown here. Take one of the door support plates and align it like this. The notch in the middle is aligned to the horizontal pencil mark and the right hand edge is aligned to the vertical pencil mark we made earlier. Note that the two closer together holes are on the right hand side of the door support plate. Make pen or pencil marks in the other two holes. 
Then, start these holes off with a sharp implement. You can now drill these holes all the way through with a 5mm drill bit. Make sure you keep the drill perpendicular to the front of the coop and make sure that you go all the way through the plastic. We're going to need the following fittings for the next step. On the front of the door, slot two of these through a door support plate. Slide a door support plate onto these two bolts from the back of the door and then secure them with washers and wing nuts. Drill through only the inner skin of the door using the two guide holes and then drill out the holes on the front skin of the door. Then slide two more of these bolts through a door footing and through the front of the coop. Secure them from behind as before. Attach the door mechanism to the main mechanism using the split pin provided. For the next step, you'll need to remove the two bolts going through the mounting bracket for the control box. Align this to the top right of the coupe's front panel. We like to align the left hole over the channel and the right hand over the pillar. Drill all the way through these holes using the 5mm drill bit as before. Slot the mounting bracket into place and put the bolts through the holes. Secure it on the back using the washers and the wing nuts. Clip the control box onto the mounting bracket using the locating holes. Now's a great time to tidy up the cables using the fittings provided. The solar panel can go anywhere, but we like to mount it on the grey roof. Just stick it in place. Connect the battery cables to the battery and then put that within the dry box. You can then take the opportunity to connect the solar panel to the main cable coming from the unit. Connect the white clips together. and the door will begin to close. The door closes gently but firmly and gives plenty of time for your chickens to get in. Make sure you keep the power connected until the door has finished moving. Once the door's closed, the door will wait about a minute before deciding whether it's safe to open or not. If it's daylight, the door will open For this video, we've decided to speed this time up, so now the door will begin to open. In the future, if you'd like to open and close the door, you can either do so using the split pin, or by disconnecting and reconnecting the white clips.